the instruments. Well, I, I'm out here, like I say, oh, I've been moving this thing out of my way. 26 miles out waiting on the signal. So, Vince, did you get X-Plane 11 for Christmas? Um, uh, well... I guess that's a no. <laughs> I've been planning on buying it, but the year for the last few days, I've thought about it. I'll buy it just to shut the hell. <laughs> Waiting on a signal. I haven't got it. Come I on. Figured you come in there and say, "Well, what you got to do? You stupid yeah. song gun. What you got to do is this." Yeah, but I mean, still, it didn't accumulate properly. Like, it didn't stack on the ground. Covered the whole damn ground up. It was a pay. It was a. It, covered, it was a road. It, it was a road. It. Exactly right. It covered it, but it didn't actually stack. Oh man, let me tell you. Why it's like that before? When I go out back and you don't have a little pot out there, it stacks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh right. And on that yeah. note. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to win on a signal I haven't got yet. Uh, got you about 24, 5 miles out of the way yeah. somewhere. 25. Yeah. Hey, this comes on a little closer than it does, so it should be about time. I'm 110.15, that should be it. Got on the L2, got an L2. Light ain't on, I thought it was on. Is on too, it's just a light, you can't see it. I want to turn it off so it go off. Slowing down some more. Be right back. my speed at 70 knots level twenty two miles from VOR be twenty five in the airport any time any time A little more airspeed, I'm losing speed. <coughs> Yokes are moving, he's staring flying itself. Hands off. Signals on. I am now being nailed by the navigation. And I think I can set the approach. I'll give it a minute. I am now on ILS. Change that bottom one back over to VOR. Lying to me, it ain't working. It don't give me a distance, so it don't do me no good. This, this right here is alright, though we are so far. 
I'm going to go to approach. I'm within 30 degrees. Let's see what it does. Glass slope light zone. Let's see what it does. Airspeed is just right. Dead on for now. Once it breaks over, it'll slow down. It'll speed up when it breaks over to readjust. If it breaks over, I've got both. Well, that's right there. It's not quite what that is, but that's, they both set the same anyway. I, I'm just off that much. It's all right. Let it go. She's working toward it, I think, slowly. It don't look like it, but it's it's on something. It's not just flying it's for the health, I don't think. I'll give me a little few more minutes. I'm still out 19 miles, so I'm far enough out not to worry about it at this point. Approach zone, nav zone, altitude light zone, GPS light zone. Trim is still adjusting and trying to take care of itself. That's what it should do, so I'm all right. The trim has to adjust due to wind probably moving me around a little bit. Just having to make up for it. Maybe that will porpoise a little. All right, the line right there is getting closer. That's what I want. Just give it time. It was close enough it didn't turn heavy into it while I turned it on. It just stayed there. Not dead on it, but it's all right. As long as it catches that glide slope, the rest of it looks good. If it don't catch it, uh, niche. <laughs> now I'm talking about portal. They're gonna be niched, and you will be dead. He said. Everything still looks good. Headed toward the airport. This is approach to John Burrow. Cessna 172. From come from Memphis, but I've come up the river and come across on VOR to John Burrow. Switch from VOR to ILS. A little while back. I'm trying to apply it. I'm running airspeed at 70 knots. When he breaks over, I'll have to slow down accordingly to bring it back to 70 knots. Flaps are full. Of course, wheels are gears down and fixed and welded. I guess that's all right. Now, so far everything is all right. If that line don't lock, then that's another story. As long as that glide slope lies on, it should lie. Should lock. It could be forced on, but it's on. I don't have to force it on. Trim light keep blinking, telling me it's adjusting itself. That's good enough. Airspeed's still good. Everything looking good so far. Coming straight in on runway heading, or as straight as I can establish and know it. What it does, it does. Right or wrong, we're doing it. So far, let me just buzz this out a little bit while I have a better view for landing. So. As far as it'll go, keep these where I can see them until it takes over here. Then I might drop down enough I can't see them. I've got an autopilot. I'll switch on my yoke, my joystick, so I don't have to mess with the inside of the plane. Still a little off to the, off to the right of the airport, to the left a little bit, but it's still coming in close enough. I am out by 14.9 miles. Let's see what it does. I have to consider maybe a way into something out here. I don't see the plane jumping around though, so I don't know. I'm not trying to verify that. If it's a wind, it's steady. It ain't closed that up much since I turned it on, but that's close enough there if it hits that numbers. 
not worried about that at this point we are about time for the glide slope to start coming down I think well 14 miles maybe not maybe well 3,000 feet though I'm sitting on 3,000 feet so it's going to take a little more range to get it if we don't get it I'll have to dive into it try to get it but I think it'll get it here we go I'm gonna put this up on YouTube it's up here a few words ain't nothing that hurt anything other people talking a little they don't even know it's on I was doing it for me about to turn the desktop off because that would cut the airplane sounds off too though they want to do that it's going to be put on YouTube as an approach to Jonesboro, Arkansas KJBR ILS approach from from the Mississippi River really coming in. We'll come up the river from Memphis and turned in. <coughs> so far, so good. Could have started a little earlier, but I'd already turned in on VR when I turned the recorder on. Just decided to try, try to record this part of it, see what happens. Uh, airspeed is still good. She's holding her own. We're not. The line, I believe, is a little closer than it was. I believe. The parallel line. The glide slope hadn't moved yet. 12 miles out. It's got to move pretty quick, but it's going to, though. I believe it will. Well, at 12 miles. Where am I getting that from? That must hey, be some destination. Hey, listen, I, they're going to put this fiber optic in for me. And I was wondering that now, since I got that business account, I've got a static um, IP address. Do you, do you think it's, I um, need a static IP address? Asking me if you need a static IP. Yeah, with well, this joint FS and stuff. If I do have, if I do have a uh, a node or whatever, it, it'll it'll keep changing, right? If you don't have a static. No, it won't. The only reason Ray's got a static IP is because I set it set up a static IP and years ago. So yeah. If it comes to it, we can just do it on yours. Well, what I'm—they want to charge me ten dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You tell them you don't want it, and then you just do it your damn self. You tell them you don't want it, and then you just do it your damn self. I'm recording. It's all right. Uh, yeah. It's all right. I'll go hit off. Okay. All right. Well, I'll. Uh... And then we can. We can set it up if you want one through your computer. You just set it up through your IPv4 address. But.
Locked on, looking good. <clears throat> Everything's fine. Locked on at 3,000 feet, coming right down the slope. Now, the reason I got so fast, I was trying to adjust the airspeed with my mouse, knowing damn well it don't adjust it. Anyway, I had to go manually adjust it, then I got it down. I kept on rolling the mouse, and nothing was happening. Because the mouse ain't got a damn thing to do with it. Anyway, here we go. We're going to try this right here one time. See if I can put this down, Joan Pearl. Still a little off on that forward line there. But I'm not worried about it. But it's, it's a little off. It probably get closer to the last minute. If not, it may hit a little angle to it. I do see the airport from here. I believe I'm looking at it right there. There's a little approach lights right there. Six point seven miles out. I've got this here on VR. It should show me passing it three miles out. It ain't what that undo with my plane flying. That should show me passing as I go by it. Three hundred. Three hundred, yo. Yeah. When I pass it three miles out there, the hand should change sides. It'll be about a half mile from there, three miles from airport. That's a local IJRB. <laughs> That's what I got that on. That's what I got that on. Put my hand on the keyboard. Keyboard ain't gonna do this landing. It's ain't the FSX. One button, top of the joystick. <coughs> <coughs> Looks like I'm lined on the run, on the taxiway right now, but I think I'm headed that way. Looks pretty good. I'm good enough. I'm about 200 feet or so above the ground, I'll take over. Or not much more than that, if any. Our airspeed is a little bit fast. Let's check her back up. I let it drift. I wouldn't pay attention to it. All right, we just crossed up. Just crossed that the hand chain sides. I saw it. Just past the VOR. 3.6 miles from the airport. Probably from the airport director mark, which is not dead on the end of it, more than likely. Take more back to land. There's a distance of reading three miles, two point six. Put it over our head on the other screen, y'all can't see it. Other than that, all you need is the mileage. Airspeed is just about right. Runway, a little angle, but it looks good other than that. And this right here is what's wrong with that. If I was, oh, wind may be holding me over. Well, this should be centered, it ain't. But it's not enough to complain about. That could be wind there. 
holding it, coming out of the south on me. If it is, push me over. But I'm pushing a little to the north or over that way to line. But we are, we're a little offline, but not a, everything else closed up. I'm not going to worry about that. Flap full, wheels down. Of course, they've stayed down. Got them welded a little bit. Airspeed is the 10 degree angle from here. But we can live with that. I'm going to take over about now. I don't have no call outs. I have control. I didn't hear no number, no sound either. I was supposed to have a sound. I didn't have no sound. GPS says ready, so that means it wanted up there. Uh, Autopilot says ready. It did turn off, but it didn't make that sound. I noticed I hadn't been here that day. Throttle back a little. A little more back. A little more back. Bring her up level. Well, supposed to be level. We're down. See, hit the brakes too hard. Let's call that right there. I see somebody sitting out here in the grass. Okay, we'll go here and park and get this video fixed up. That's good enough for parking right there. Lock the park brake. Turn this thing off. 